Hello, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be speaking about the movie Adelaide. Um, so if you're watching this right now, it's live. You can click the, I think it's the, the green button that says join class. Um, and then we can get started. But uh, like I said, we're going to be speaking about Adelaide. Adelaide is a short film that I found um, through a website, which I can't remember the name. Um, but the video is on Vimeo. And it was an award-winning short, screened at over 50 film festivals, winning grand jury prizes, audience awards at Woodstock, China Art, Austin, and more. The protagonist, Adelaide, well, I'm not going to say exactly, but um, the director, Liliana Grinfield Sanders, is currently developing the short film into a feature in association with the screenwriting and directing labs at the Sundance Institute. So I'm guessing in the future this is going to be a movie. Maybe we'll see it in the Sundance Film Festival. It was uploaded four months ago. Um, let's see. What else? Um, I've been working for Verbling since February, so in a few days it'll be, I think, exactly a year. Um, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I study at the university. And let's see, what else? I'm studying, I've been studying Spanish. I speak Spanish. I've been studying it for six years. Uh, here we go. Hi, guys. Let's see. Hello everyone. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Hello. Yes. Okay, good. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so did you guys see um I know a little a few of you were mentioning it, but was it did it did you have to wait two minutes to join? Yes, the two minutes. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, I just want to... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to explain a little bit because um, I think a lot of people don't understand the concept very well. So, basically, so you see the class and you see this button that's usually blue and it'll have like two minutes. Um, so let's see. If, so it looks like this. Um, so it's counting down to the class, and then it says, you know, two minutes to reserve a seat. If you look up here, it says try Verbling Premium for free. So mm -hmm. what you can do is try it out and see what it's like. So this is get one week of pr Verbling Premium completely free. So, you know, what that means is you have a week of reserving as many classes as you want. Um, so, you know, you click start your free week. I am i don't know. Let's see what happens if I click. They would ask you about the number of the previous card. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to read this to you. So, it says, after your first, after your one week free trial, you'll be charged $25 a month. You will not be charged if you cancel before your trial ends. So, let's say, you know, you're on the last day of the week. If you hit cancel, then they won't charge you. So that's how you can try it for free. Um, and what it is, is, you know, um, you know, I don't know how many, like right now, there are nine of you in the class, and it tells me up above that there are 28 people watching the class. So, mm -hmm. you know, you guys obviously got here quick enough that you could reserve a seat. Um, but, you know, the, the rest of you that are watching this, that we're trying to join, uh, this is, you know, a perfect example where reserving a seat would be uh, kind of guarantee you that spot. So what it is is basically, if you are a Verbling Premium user, 
every class you can reserve within the two minutes. So like we give you the first two minutes to reserve the class. So what that means is like, you know, you'd get one of these spots if let's say you, you weren't in it and you didn't get here in time. Or let's say that, you know, let's say, you know, all of you guys get Verbling Premium. All of you, you know, get it, you try it out or whatever. You come to my class, reserve your seat, you know, then you can join right away. And then these 27 other people that are watching wouldn't be able to um, if let's say there were nine people that wanted to come to my class and reserve a seat. Does that make sense? No. No, that does not make sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all of you guys got here quick enough to join, right? So okay. let's say nine other people. Let's say, I don't know, let's say, you know, um, four people from China, two from Vietnam, and three from Spain all signed up for the Verbling Premium. Let's say they did the first week and they signed up. They're like, okay, we're going we're gonna to try it out. So those nine people and they saw, hey, Joe's going to be speaking about a movie called Adelaide. I want to go to that class. So all nine of them come and they started their, their first week, so they're not paying. Then they click reserve seat in my class. Then that's nine spots that are filled. So none of you guys would have been able to get into the class because you because they reserve the seats. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So so basically what I'm saying is, you know, you guys should try out the f the first week because it's free and you can always cancel at any time. Um, but what it just means is like you're reserving your spot in the class and you can do it as many time as for as many classes as you want for a month. Um well, for the first week, and then after that, it's $25. So it's $25 for as many classes as you want. So, you know, if you can only come to, like, two or three classes a week, and, you know, what's that? Three classes a week times four weeks is 12 classes. You know, it's $2 a class. But, you know, if you're coming, if you're coming like, often and, like, you really need to learn English for your job, and, you know, you can come to, like... Um, I don't know, like six classes, so like one every day, or seven classes, sorry, one every day of the week or something, then seven times four is 28, so, you know, you're getting 28 classes reserved um, for $25, so, you know, those, those are some ways you can look at it, but, you know, if you can only come, you know, every so often, but you want to be able to guarantee yourself a seat, it's another good reason to sign up for it, but, you know, if you guys want to try it for free, you know, I would definitely do that because it's only a week. You can hit cancel. Um, and I've had experience with doing, like, these kind of trials. Like, for Amazon, um, I'm on this trial. It's, like, free shipping, free two-day shipping. And it's for six months. And, like, I had to type in my credit card. And then what I did was, um, like, it was, it was going to end this month. So I just went and hit cancel. And that way it didn't charge me. So, um it's just something you know you guys should look at um, if you're interested. Does anybody have any questions about that, or is any of that confusing? Uh, the case of Fernando, he said that he had reserved, but he didn't join. So. Maybe okay. So the way it works is though you have to reserve. Um, within okay. the first two minutes, uh, I believe. I think that's what they told me. Um, mm -hmm. So, so that's that. Maybe that's why he can't join. Um, mm -hmm. If you reserve a class, can he arrive at any time? No, I think so. So the point of it is, you know, like, like let's say you guys really want to come to my class. Like you watch the video, you have questions, etc., and you want to speak about it. And you you know that the class starts at eight a.m. Then you would come um, and reserve it. I th I don't know, I I don't know exactly because um, I haven't done it. What I'll, what I'll do is after this class. I'll sign up, I'll put in my credit card, and I'll sign up for Verbling Premium, um, and then I'll try it out, so that way, you know, I can see what it's like and, you know, give you guys a better um, explanation of that, but the way it works is, like, the first two minutes are reserved 
uh, for the Verbling Premium users to reserve a seat. So, you know, if you if, if a Verbling pr Premium user came right now, you know, we can't just kick one of you guys out and give your spot up to a Verbling Premium user because that wouldn't be fair. So, you know, you'd have to still arrive on time. Um, you know, you just get there like two minutes. You could get there like right at eight o'clock. Um, and then in the first two minutes, like you guys said, it, the button wouldn't let you join because you had to, somebody said like seven seconds. And that's because it was waiting to give the Verbling users a chance. Does that, so does that make sense? So basically what the difference is, is now if you guys want to reserve a seat um, in a class, then you can't. Does that, so does that make sense? Yes, can I have a question? Yeah, of course. Yes, what happens if I reserve the seat and then I lost my connection? If you reserve a seat and lose a connection, so like, like let's say... And then you know, I lose a connection. I get in the class, but after two or three minutes, my connection go down. Uh -huh. Can I join another one at a time? Um, I don't know the answer. I'm guessing what would happen is like, like let's say, so right now you have a spot in the class. So let's say, you know, you and I, you're, you're talking and all of a sudden your connection drops, but you reserve the seat. Um, then what would happen would be, you know, like you get it running and like, let's say you're on the verbling chat. Um, and then I'm guessing there would be like some way either like nobody would be able to take your spot or, you know, the person who joined, I would have to say, I'm sorry, um, Michelle re reserved that spot. So when he gets back, I'm going to have to kick you out. And that might be how it works because I don't know if they can they might be able to implement a way or like a system that you know it's your specific spot in the class uh, but but I don't know the details because I'm, I'm just an English teacher I don't know the details like the engineering details so I don't know if that's possible that's okay I get it okay okay any other questions okay so Fernando so, you know, this system is still super new. Fernando says that he came in the first two minutes and he clicked reserved and it didn't work. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing there are like still a bunch of bugs that they're trying to, you know, figure out. Um, so, I'm just, I'm just going to tell him he can um, message me and then I can... I can get that figured out, but like I said, after this class, I'll sign up, I'll put in my credit card, get it figured out, and then um, what I'll do is I'll record a video of me, um, you know, like getting to a class like two minutes before, hitting reserve, and showing you guys how the process works, so that way, you know, you can see a video, and it'll be easier to understand how it works. Um... Okay, so any any last questions about that? No, okay. Um, so we'll get started because it's been about 13 minutes and I see some new faces but I also see a lot of uh, familiar faces so we'll just get started. Basically, my name's Joe. I'm from the United States, um, from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, and today, we're going to be just speaking, discussing the movie that I posted. So, did everybody see the movie? Did everybody watch it? No, I didn't watch it. Okay, that's okay. Did anybody else not watch it? So, we can, can you repeat the movie? The, the movie I posted. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, so I say, let's see, here it is. Oh, wait a second. It must have nothing there. I, hmm, I must have only added it on my Facebook. Darn it. Um, let's see if I can add it really quickly. Um, is it today's Wednesday? So let's see if I can add this. Cause I, I'm sorry, I thought I, I thought I added that. Add a lead, add link. Okay, it should be in there now. Let's see. 
Okay, so there it is. Um, so I guess I didn't add it. Darn it. Did anybody see it on my Facebook and watch it? Yes, okay, so Maria got it. Um, so there's the video. I posted it on my Facebook. Apparently, I I, th I thought I put it on the, the Facebook, or on the Verbling page, but it must have gotten reset or something. Um, we can watch a few minutes of it uh, together. Well, actually not together. We can we can watch a few minutes here in class and kind of just talk about it. It's pretty short. It's only about 10 minutes. Um, so has anybody here... So say yes if you have seen the video already. No. So nobody here has seen the video. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is... Um, I'm going to post the link again, um, and what we're going to do is watch the video. We can't watch it together because the audio, I can't get the audio to work. Um, so what I want you guys to do is to click on the link. It's in the Verbling chat and the Google chat. Um, and what we're going to do is just, you're just going to watch the video on your own computer screen. Then um, after it's over, it's only it's only 10 minutes, so it's not very long. Um, after it's over, we'll have about a half an hour to discuss it, because uh, I have some questions, and I'm really sorry about that, guys. I thought I I thought I posted that beforehand, um, but does that sound okay to you guys to watch it right now in class, and then um, we'll come back and talk about it? Okay. 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 Perfect. Okay. And if you have any questions, what was that? Uh, is this film is the silent film? Silent film? No, it is not. It is not I a silent. I can sound. hear anything. Um. I don't know. Let's let's see. Maybe okay. So I'm gonna show you real quick the Vimeo. Um, just Vimeo to make sure. Okay, so if you see right here. There's audio bars, so maybe it's not turned up all the way. Then that could be it. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Try opening it up in a different browser. So here's the video. Um, so try that, none. Um, that should work. Um, I try it, but I can't hear anything. Yes. I it, it didn't work in another browser. Yes. Did you try? What are you using right now? What? What browser are you using right now? Chrome, are you using Google Chrome? Yes. I use okay. Google Chrome. Try using Firefox. Yes. So try that. So everybody just watch the video 10 minutes. If you have any questions, write them in the Verbling chat. Um, and then, you know, we're going to come back in 10 minutes and discuss it. Uh, any questions? No. Okay. So watch it, come back, and then we're going to discuss it.
Hello. Hello. Okay, if you're not done, you should be done in a few seconds or so. Is everybody done? Guys? Is everybody is everybody done? Yes, okay. Anybody else? Antonio? Yes, yeah, I'm done. Okay, Slepson, Ibrahim, Julian's done. Marie? 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 Are you done? Yeah, yes, okay. Okay, um. And Nora, are you done? Not yet. What was that? Not yet. Not yet, okay, okay. Okay, Slepson is trying to figure out his microphone. And Nora's almost done, okay. Um. So she can finish up. Um, Yedehi, are you there? Yedehi? Okay, maybe he is addressing his microphone. Um, okay. So uh, everybody got to see that. Sorry again that we had to watch that in class. I meant to post it beforehand. Um, Okay, so uh, what what was what did you guys think about that video? Just your reaction to it. It's very funny and strange. Very funny and strange. Yes, good. What else? In the beginning, that the there were not no one care about her. And then she found the person that, <laughs> that cared about her. Uh -huh. Good, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what happened. Good. And what else? What What else? How did you guys uh, react to it? Like, did you think it was funny? Did you think it was weird? Did you think it was cute? Did you think it was? Uh, did you Did you not like it? Did anybody? I think she like was a little crazy. She was a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely.
Definitely. Um, did anybody not like it? Yes. I don't like uh, only the beginning of the video. You didn't like the beginning? Yeah. Okay. And then Rosa, what were you saying? You Did you like it or no? The beginning. Just the yes. entire video. Yes, why not? It's funny. I, I smiled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Um, so we have 30 minutes left, so I want to try and, you know, get you guys speaking as much as possible since we had to spend um, 10 minutes explaining about Verbling Premium and another 10 minutes watching the video, etc. Um, so what I'm going to do is I wrote down some questions, um, so I'm basically just going to ask you guys. So this is open, so, you know, you can speak if you want to speak. If you're a little bit shy, don't worry. Um, Basically, we're going to be spending the last, the rest of the class just speaking about the video. So I'm going to ask some questions, and then you know we can just talk about that question, talk about you know maybe a little bit, uh, a few other aspects related to the question, and then you know when it when it's just silent, like when you guys aren't talking, then I'll move on to the next question. Um, okay, so the first question is, we kind of already answered this a little bit, but. What what is this about? So what is the story that's going on here? Having a Can you repeat? Close back to you. Sorry, two people. Uh, <laughs> was that Nora? Okay, so Nora, what were you saying? And then I'll repeat the question. Having a good friend who cares about you, who uh, supported you, who support you when you. <laughs> Yes, yes, okay, so it's about, you know, um, having somebody there for you, maybe like somebody, like a boyfriend, basically, in, the, in this case it's a boyfriend, but the question was, um, what is this about? So like if I said, if you guys watch this and you were explaining to a friend in English, explaining, you know, giving them a summary or a synopsis, synopsis uh, what would you say? What is this about? In the beginning, one girl in, in, in a chair. I don't say the name in English. The chair, this chair. Um, you could say she's in, um, in a hospital bed. Like no, no, no. Okay, I, I look for the... Okay, okay, okay. Good, yeah, so she starts off in a hospital. Um, so w what else? We know that she finds a guy, um, but w what is, um, Antonio, you said she was crazy. Why did you say she was crazy? I don't know, because uh, uh, it seems that she wanted to be sick just to get somebody uh, caring for her, and I, I can understand that. <laughs> Yes, you could say um, she she made herself sick for attention. That's kind of like yes, exactly, exactly. Good. Um, <clears throat> okay, what else? Any any other comments about you know what what's this about? She has a problem with the medicine. Yes. Okay. What is her problem with medicine? <laughs> she like the medicine. <laughs> yes. So we could say so here it's it's basically she's faking illnesses. So an illness is when you're sick and you need to take medicine for it. That's an illness. But she's faking these. She's like like I don't know if it's probably was hard to pick up but there were some things like in the beginning where the doctor said they took out her appendix I think it was even though there was no swelling so it's like she's she's learning these symptoms so I've heard of people doing this um, but what they do is they look for the symptoms of an illness then they explain to their doctor like oh you know I have a headache when I do this um, I have a stuffy nose my arms hurt my legs hurt so they fake these illnesses for attention which is exactly what Antonio was saying good uh, anything else I got a question because she yes. looks as if she as if she were alone in life. It, it looks I don't know if, if it's true or not, but no one no one is around her. 
only that boy who she's just met, so she looks alone. So, so is your is your question? Is she alone? Yes, I think she is alone. I think she is, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's open that up to everybody else. What do you guys think? Do you guys think she's alone? Yeah. Yes, she needs more attention. More attention. Mm -hmm. And she told him, you, you have Taylor, you're so lucky. Mm -hmm. She's a little depressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's crazy. She's a little, yeah. Mm -hmm. She has scars. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Anything else? Maybe she has a uh, illness. Has a what? Illness. I illness. Yes, illness. But yeah. <laughs> the illness is mental. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yes, it is a mental illness. Because the person, the person needs to be very crazy to to intoxicate himself. <laughs> to know that she she was allergic. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Clebson is pointing out a very, very good point. So, notice in the very beginning, um, she is calling 911 for herself. And she's notice how much detail she puts into the, the conversation. She, she says, like, you know, she's going into epile epileptic shock. She took, you know, this and this, um, you know, a bunch, a bunch of big words that she's using. Because she knows what happened and, you know, what they're going to need because she's done this before. You know, that kind of points out that she does this often. She she basically, like, gets herself sick, I guess you, I guess you could say, like, sets herself up for it. It's like she was addicted in doing this thing. Yes, exactly. Good. Okay. Um, next question. Do you guys remember? Okay. So, what's her name? Do you guys know how to pronounce it? Um, Adelaide. Yeah, Adelaide. Good, Adelaide. Uh -huh. So that's that's a kind of a difficult name. Like once you look at it, you might not know how to pronounce, but it's a a de Laid. Kind of like that, Adelaide. Um, and how old is she? Do you think? I think it says in there. But do you guys? Do you get how? How old do you think she is? Maybe twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Any other guesses? Do you guys agree with that? Twenty-one. Eighteen or seventeen. Eighteen or seventeen. Wow. Yeah, we're <laughs> young. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, it could be. I mean, she could be... I mean, the only reason I would say maybe not is because usually in the United States, when you're 17 or 18, you might still live with your parents. But I think it actually says 22 in there. I think they say, like, she's a 22-year-old girl. So what does Adelaide look like? She's pretty beautiful. She's what? Yeah. Pretty beautiful. <laughs> yes, uh huh. And how would you describe her? Eye color, uh, hair blonde, color. Blonde. She. Uh, my point of view, she is a little overweight. <laughs> a little overweight. Okay. <laughs> yes. She has light brown eyes. Yes, uh huh. Yes, light brown eyes and. Her hair was. What is light brown? Light brown. So it's like like my eyes are like. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Light, light brown. brown. Yeah. yeah. Blonde hair. Blonde hair. Yes. Good. Empty. Uh huh. So she got blonde hair, light brown eyes. Um. She, did you guys see? She has a lot of straight hair. Yeah. She has a lot of scars too. She always wear uh pink clothes. Pink clothes, very, yes. Very gold. Yep, so we could say that um, maybe her favorite color is pink. Yep. Um, what else? How might you describe her personality? 
Mi Pero, muño de... Ya. Terrible. Yes, Hamdi? Terrible, terrible. Terrible? You describe her personality terribly? Or as yes. terrible? Okay, okay, okay. She's Why? Crazy. Shy. Shy. Crazy, shy. Crazy. She's rash. She's what? Rash. Rush. What do you mean by rush? Mm. Someone who loves and adventures, who love. Oh, she kind of likes. She likes thrill. You could say. She... Thrill. Yeah, thrill is another word. Oh, Hasty, okay. maybe. What was that? Hasty. Husky. Hasty. Uh, Hasty. Yeah. Mm, I don't I don't know um she's smart she's definitely smart because you know she I mean like I don't know like you know she had to teach herself all of these things like okay so if I take um, this then this is gonna what's gonna happen and I'm gonna need this so you know she plans all of this out so she's pretty smart um, what else how would you describe her I think she's she's very simple because although she looks very complicated, very troubled, but she she looks very simple because uh, you know the only thing she wants is just to get attention from someone, and that's very simple. Although she looks very 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 depressive, very troubled person. But yes. Very Lonely. Yes. Lonely. Uh huh. Isolated. She's what? Isolated. Isolated. That's a really good word. Yes. So, what does isolated mean? Means alone. Alone. A lot. Yep. All of you are right. Uh huh. Yeah. So she's lonely. She's isolated. You know, we don't see a mom. We don't see a dad. We don't see a brother. We don't see a sister. Looks like she lives alone. Um. And yeah. Good. And and another way we can tell that she's isolated or alone is, so when she sees the doctor in the very beginning, she says um, she wants to be best friends with his wife. Now that's kind of weird, because she's 22, the wife's probably 50 or so. So you know that that's kind of weird. So that's another way we can tell she's isolated and lonely. Um, okay, so in that scene where she's talking to the doctor, she says. Um, hey, your wife can be my emergency contact. What does that mean? Emergency contact. When you stay in the hospital, the hospital call this person. Yes, that can be one, one type of an emergency contact. Another type is, um, let's say, your... Uh, let's say you, you sign up for a, maybe, let's say you sign up for an English institute and, you know, you're filling out all the papers, like your address and everything, it might say emergency contact. So what that means is if there's ever an urgent need and they need, you know, you break an, break an arm or something bad happens to you or you need help, who should they contact if there's an emergency? So that's what it means. Who should they contact if there's an emergency? Um, so you know that's going to be your mom, your dad, maybe your best friend, you know, depending on who is going to be close by and who can help you out with an emergency. So that's what emergency contact means. So um, <clears throat> there, a lot of times, I don't know if they still do it. I don't know. I, I was going to look at my phone, but um, in in phones in English, you might see something that says ICE. Does anybody know what that stands for? Ice? Yes. It stands for in case of emergency. Ah, okay. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, it's just like abbreviations. Okay. So here, I'm going to cap, I'll write it, there we go. So in case of emergency, so it's the I, the C, and the E, ice. So that's that. Um... Okay, next question. So... We kind of already answered this a little bit, but I'm just going to ask it again. Why does she do this? Why does she fake these illnesses? Why does she do all of this? Because she wanted someone to depend on. Mm -hmm. She wants someone to depend on her. 
Aha. Someone who support her. Mm-hmm. Yes, but after she she met with this guy, she uh, I think that she fell in love with him because <laughs> yes, she, on the first day she asked to him, uh, "I want to date with you." Uh-huh. I think that. Uh, 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 a feeling up for him, for him. Yeah, like she felt some emotions for him. Yes. Good. Okay. What else? Make friends with somebody. Okay. She she uh, she feels um, a loneliness and uh, maybe got the uh, emotional problem. Yes. Sure. So you could say she's emotionally unstable. Yeah. Emotionally unstable. Good. Yep. Perfect. Anything else? Any other comments? She uh, tried to get a, get rid of isolated isolation. Yeah, she's trying to get rid of her isolation. She wants somebody in her life, so she feels lonely. So she does this for attention because she's emotionally unstable and has problems. And because she wants somebody to support her, she wants somebody to depend on, basically. Good. Do you guys remember, so the first time she goes into the pharmacy, which the place where all the medicine is, uh, like where you go get medicine, is called a pharmacy. Uh, which is spelled like... I can't spell it very well. Farm... Uh, see. Like that. There we go. So the place where you go to get medicine. So if you guys are ever in the United States and you you were sick and you need medicine, first you know you're gonna say, hey, where can I go see the doctor? Then second you're gonna say, where's the pharmacy? Because the pharmacy is where you get your prescriptions and your medicines. So in the pharmacy, she comes in with crutches. Those are those things that you know you put under your armpits when you know you have a broken leg. So she's walking in on crutches, and then. She does something. She throws, she, she turns. Dropped, dropped you. Yes, she threw like a box on the ground. Why did she do that? Pay attention to the guy. She wanted the guy <laughs> to pay attention, yeah. So it's kind of funny because, you know, she's sitting there. So she grabs a box. She looks at him like, throws the box, and then waits <laughs> for him to come get it. And he doesn't come. So I thought that, I thought that was really funny. <laughs> Good. Okay, so she does it for attention. Good. Okay, and then afterwards she goes to buy get her prescriptions and she's talking to the guy, the pharmacist. So that's the person, the guy that she's dating. Farm is uh, So it's spelled like this. Wait. Uh, there we go. So she goes up to the guy in the lab coat who prescribes her the medicine. That's called a pharmacist. Then she says to him, I would like to date you. How would you guys react? So if you were in his position, you were working at this pharmacy, and you're prescribing this girl medicine, like heavy medicine, so we're talking, you know, I don't know, something strong. How would you guys react? Just like him, I would say, mm, okay. <laughs> you're crazy. Okay, I'll hold you. <laughs> Imagine how you ask me to date you on the first time. What Good. did she say, say to him? She says, she just says, I want to date you. Oh, Like oh, yeah. straight Great. face. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. I'm going up, actually. What yes. would you do? Great. I hope. Good, okay, so some of you guys would react the same way. Would anybody react in a different way? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably I would probably just I would like okay. <laughs> Cause you know, how 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 are you supposed to react to that? You know, that's not that's not normal. So that's how you can tell she's she's not normal. Um Okay, so then, you know, he says yes, he comes to her house. Then later, they, do you guys remember the scene where they throw, it's it's called a dummy, like it's it's a fake human. Uh, they throw it in the water, and then they're like pushing on the chest, and they have a breathing mask, and they're blowing into it. What are they doing there? CPR. CPR, good. And what is CPR? 
Not 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 what CPR stands for, but like what is yeah. it? CPR. The meaning is uh, something is Latin like cardio. Uh, pro, pro, what? Cardio something resuscitation. That's what I remember. Cardio respiratory. I respiratory resuscitation. Right? CPR. No no no. Cardio. I don't remember. It's like. I can look at it right. It's cardio pul pulmonary resuscitation. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's yes. You try to resuscitate that any um, body uh, has a coma. Somebody unco unconscious. This is a procedure for this one. Just laid him back on his uh, back and try to um, to shake him or try to uh, uh, call him by a loud voice. I, yeah. Maybe he's unconscious, but if he not respond to you, you try to lay him on his back and uh, try to open the airway from his mouth, close his nose, uh, give him a breath uh, f five times, and try to pushing down his heart in in the in the left side of the chest five times and five times. This is um, um, five times breathing, five time five times uh, pushing his uh, his uh, heart. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's a perfect definition of, of, or explanation of how you do, how you perform CPR. So, you know, you open up the airway and, you know, you check if anything's blocking it because maybe right. they swallowed something um, and they can't get it out. And then, you know, you you do five pumps. Like they taught, when I did it, they taught us, you put your hands like this. So put the this hand like this, then take these fingers, lock them yeah. in, and then push down. And you want to keep your arms straight so you can, you know, get all of the force. Good. Okay. Is anybody here CPR certified? Yeah, me. Hamdi? Anybody yeah. else? I I used to be. I'm not anymore because you have to renew it every six months. I did this course three times maybe. Three times. And how come? Is it required for your job? No, actually, we did it as a volunteer. Volunteer. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay. Next question. So, at the end, when she's with the guy, she, what she does is she says, will you excuse me? Then she goes, puts peanut butter in her mouth, because she's probably allergic to nuts, and then she calls 911 so that they'll come, and then she goes and tells him, Hey, um, I'm about to go into shock, etc. My airways are going to close up. You need to do this and this. So she's doing that obviously so he can practice. Um, but then at first, you know, he reacts and he's really scared. Do you think that what she did was crazy or was cute? Very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> very crazy. You know, this is um, practically this is very dangerous because if the blood, if anybody uh, doesn't have a coma. And you're trying to do a CBR for him. This is very dangerous for him, because you try try to um, to um, um, you know this is the pulses of of, her, of, her, of hearts. If you are trying to push him down and you try to give him uh, breathe, this may be affect the 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 hearts uh, and the way of of uh, of, um, of hearts. How can your heart is going on and continue? This is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah. Would, you agree? Okay. Does anybody think that it's cute? But this is cute because it is, <laughs> she wanted to pay attention of the guy. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So it's crazy, but it's also <laughs> cute. Okay. Okay. She, she need a big kiss. Yeah. If this happened with me, I would freak out. <laughs> I think I would freak out too. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? <laughs> Oh boy, has anybody ever had something like, you know, somebody do something crazy for you like this? Has anybody had any similar experiences? I hope that this never happened with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Okay, I just, I didn't know if maybe somebody might have thought it was cute, because I mean it is, it's not, it's cute, because she's like, you know, she obviously really cares about him, because she's doing this for him. Yes. So I think that part, that part, that aspect was cute, but the fact that she could die from this, like Hamdi was saying, it's really dangerous. That part is kind of crazy. Yes. It's like a proof of love. 
It is. It is. <laughs> it's like you have to save me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's kind of scary. Okay. I hope if I can see one like here. <laughs> oh, I, boy. By I the love way, my life. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. She looks. She looks beautiful. She. She. Uh, just. Um, yeah. I mean, she's uh, very beautiful, and uh, just um, uh, if she is looking for uh, uh, friends, I, I. I think she will uh, have uh, hundred thousand of volunteers. <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I mean, like, if she if she looks for friends, she could probably find some, even though she's a little bit weird and a little bit crazy. Um, you know, she probably just didn't get enough attention when she was younger or, like, didn't have good friends or something. I don't know. We don't know, but um, that's that was the last question I had. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say was, so I was reading on... Uh, so I posted the link and it's on Vimeo and it has a little description and apparently this is going to be made into an actual movie so you know we'll have to be on the lookout for that because maybe one day in the future if it comes out we can all watch it and do a class on that um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video I'm gonna try and find more short films this is what you would call an indie short film so if somebody says like hey what kind of movie is it it's an indie short film the reason it's called indie short film is because it's an independently made short film so it was made independently you know just by um, people who love film and have a great idea and, and have the equipment and want to make a movie so indie short film is the term you would use Thank you. but um, that's it uh, class has come to an end thank you guys for coming if you guys have any questions or you know suggestions for future movies that we should watch that are short. Um, you can also spell indie i n d y. Uh, but message me on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com/joeverbling, if you have any comments, suggestions, just anything in general, or any questions. Uh, but that's it. Thank you guys for coming, and I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you Joe. Thanks, Bye. guys. Bye.